Yeah, Beck Shagman, tonight, in order to win the presidency, Donald Trump needs about 45% of women to vote for him. Will that happen? You're not analyzed, Dana Perino. Before we get to the uh, women vote, yes. uh, you work for the Bush family. You know mm -hmm. them very, very well. Mm -hmm. um, was Mr. Meacham's assessment correct? Yes, I think it was a larger. I think that if Jeb hadn't even been in the primary and Donald Trump would have emerged as the winner of the Republican nomination, that they still would not have Is that because him. of the uh, Iraq criticism I think and 9-11? Uh, I think it's policy, but? temperament, character. But temperament, if, if, if Trump had not attacked Knowledge. Jeb Bush, what would be the, the temperament problem? Well, I don't, you know, you, most times a Republican establishment gets behind the Republican yes. nominee. Almost always. Right. But this is an unusual situation. Right. But if Trump had not attacked Jeb, I don't well, know what I, and I haven't spoke to, spoken to them specifically no, about this. No. Uh, on well, about I know that it's not about Jeb. It's not. That's what I know. Okay. Um, I, I would also point out that you know Donald Trump was working against George W. Bush for a long time, supporting his opponents, yeah. Pelosi, yeah. Reid, Clinton. Well, um, Trump will tell you he should have been. He was a businessman. He was okay, spreading it but around. Still, um, su suggested he should have been impeached. Said that he knew about 9/11 and didn't do anything about it. Dabbles yeah, in conspiracy, conspiracy theories. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. So, uh, but the, I also think that they've been quiet about it. But they have also, George W. Bush has campaigned a lot for several of the Senate candidates, and it looks like that has helped pay off in places like Ohio and Florida for the Senate people. Yes. Okay. Now, what about the women? Now, um, there's no question that Hillary Clinton's support is declining. Definitely. Right. Uh, women part of that equation. Not exactly. Um, apparently, the emergence, uh, re-emergence of the email scandal in the last 10 days is not changing minds as it is um, reaffirming the perception of her anyway. Um, but I do think that Donald Trump, certainly in those states where he's starting to climb back up, as Britt Hume was talking about, there's the national polling that's certainly tightening. But in some of these key battlegrounds, he's doing better, like in New Hampshire. And Nevada. Nevada, that one's too, that's true. I, I think that Kelly Ayotte will actually help him in New Hampshire as right. well. I, but I'm Kelly sure Ayotte about, doesn't, doesn't really like Trump. Well, she's had to go back and forth, right? This is, well, remember, she's also been attacked by being connected to Trump, and that was one of the yeah. reasons that she her numbers went She can't win up down. there, um, and we understand that. But again, women have got to be part of this equation, even in states like New, New do. Hampshire and, and Nevada. The numbers are super important. Um, I think you pointed out in the in the intro that you need about 45 percent. 45 is what you and need, right. Romney had only 44. Right. McCain had 43. Bush lost women in 04 by three. Um, he had 48 percent, but he still was able to win. So right. that 45 number is very important. If, if Trump gets over 45 with women, I think he'll win because he, he got hammered Possibly, so badly. Yeah. But yeah. if you look at the gap, the men are up around 58 percent for Trump. Well, he's... He underperforms with every group of men except for non-college educated men. That's a lot of men. It's a lot of men. Right. And you know where they live? Really important battleground states. Yeah. So I think that's good. I also think that his um, Hispanic vote will be, or Latino vote will be higher than anticipated and maybe even higher than Romney's. Wow. And partly that's because they're, it's not a monolithic group. Uh, Cubans and Puerto Ricans yeah, and those different, descendants different are different strokes, from no doubt other about places. It. But so. the monolithic group that everybody's watching is African Americans. Are they going to turn out in the right. great numbers they did for Barack Obama? Which in Pennsylvania, that is going to be the tipping point. I think they will not turn out in as high a numbers as they did for President if, Obama, if no matter what. If it's not close, if it's down like 10 percent, Trump could win Pennsylvania. And in this last weekend, Barack Obama is campaigning. Oh, he's everywhere. Very important place of North Carolina, as you were just talking about with Brady. He's Obama. everywhere. In fact, mm -hmm. I thought he was knocking uh, here, and, <laughs> but it wasn't him. It was just somebody who looked like Well, if like he came him. in, I'm sure he Oh, we'd him. love to have the but president. one thing I want to remind everybody. Yes. The last Real Clear Politics average going into Election Day, um, the last one on like Monday of 2012, before the election, Romney was at 48.1, mm -hmm. and Obama was at 48.9 in the average. Right. It was and I, I think that you're going to see about that average with Well, um, we're going to be here and Sunday Trump. and Monday. You'll be here as well. So we'll every... You sound so thrilled. Every... <laughs> I will be here. Are you kidding? I'll, come, I'll bring sunshine and light to your world. Well, and Jasper. Right? I'd love it. If I could bring okay. Jasper, it'd be great. Right. We appreciate it, Dan. Thank I'll you. tell you a little bit about Jasper. Um, the book is Let Me Tell You About Jasper. And if you let her tell you, she will never shut up. <laughs> All right? But it is a big bestseller, and you'll like the book, so please check it out. When we come right back, if marijuana is legalized in California, the floodgates open all across the USA. And a recent study says poor minorities may be hurt by that. A robust debate moments away.